Okay, so today I'm going to be troubleshooting an old MacBook that's not charging from start to finish. One of the first things that you want to look for here when somebody says it's not charging is to figure out if the issue is not charging or no battery recognition, because these are two very different issues. So if it sees the charger and works off the charger and sees the battery and works off the battery but simply will not charge it, that's a very different issue than when you simply see an X on the battery. So over here I have a machine and one of the first things I notice is that I have a green light on the charger. Not sure if you can see the green light in the charger here, but we've got a green light right there that we do indeed have a green light. So that means that the one wire circuit is working. Now, if the one wire circuit is working and it's seeing the charger, now the next step here is to see if it sees the battery. So I'm going to boot up into the operating system here and I see that it says the battery is 100% and it also has a little um, it sees 100% and also has a little charging icon, so it sees a battery. So now let's try to figure out why it is it may not be charging the battery. So I'm just going to open it up here. I love having an air conditioner. This is such crappy weather to not have an air conditioner. One of the things I used to hate with uh, working at other places is, like, they would have a fan or something. I mean... What, what the fuck good is a fan going to do when it's 95 degrees, 90% humidity? Thank you for blowing some 95 degree air in my face. That really makes it better. When the AC goes off, I stop working. That's really a, it's as simple as that. If I'm not comfortable, I'm not working. Can I work through discomfort? Sure. Am I going to work for some other asshole through discomfort? Fuck no. All right. So first thing that I'm going to do here, just, just let's see if some of the main power rails are present when the battery is connected. So I'm going to check PP3V42 when the battery is connected without the charger. Let's see what I get. If I go here, it's present. PP bus G3 hot is kind of low because the battery is not charging. Okay. So now I see that the battery says replacement battery four, and it's from a company called I think Key Power. Oh boy, this is gonna. This is no good. No good. No good. All right, so let's see some of the reasons that it may not be charging. So one of the first things that I go over here is the current sensing circuitry. So let me just show you what that is on the screen. I'm going to go over to the screen capture once I open up the schematic for this board. This is an 820-2936, which means it's old as dirt. Okay, so now we're going to switch over to the screen capture. And let's take a look at the current sensing section. Now, if you don't know what current sensing is, you should watch one of my many videos on what current sensing circuitry does. So I'm going to check two current sensing circuits here. The first current sensing circuit I'm going to check is the charger current sensing, which is over here. So the charger power before going through to the rest of the computer goes through this resistor. There is a very small voltage drop across the resistor, very tiny, and the U7000 is going to measure that voltage drop at the top and the bottom. So it's going to see what voltage is at the top and what voltage is at the bottom. And once it does that calculation, it's going to have an idea of how much current the system is using. Same thing is true for the battery. We have a battery current sensing resistor here. This is where the battery is going to come in to the computer. But before it comes into the computer, it is going to go through this current sensing resistor. And the U7000 chip is going to tell how much voltage is on each end of the current sensing resistor. And once it knows what voltage is here and what voltage is there, it's going to have an idea of how much voltage the system is using. Now, before the U7000 gets to see the voltage on each side here, it has to go through one of these resistors. So sometimes these resistors are blown. So let's think here. What's a quick way that I could test every single component and also every single line in the circuit without having to do multiple measurements? I want to know if the line between this current sensing line and this resistor is good, if this resistor is good, if the line between here and this resistor is good, if this resistor is good, if this line from here to here is good, if this resistor is good, blah, blah, blah. Instead of measuring all that, I'm going to measure the resistance between pins 27 and 28. And then over here, I'm also going to measure the resistance between pins 17 and 18. What I should get when I measure the resistance between pins 27 and 28, what I should get is the combined sum of all the resistors in the circuit. So for the charger current sensing circuit, I should see 10 plus 0 0.02 plus 10. And for the battery current sensing circuit, I should see 0 plus 0 0.01 plus 2.2. If I get something much higher, I know something is wrong. 
With that being said, let me get the microscope camera on so I can show you what this area of the board looks like so that I can start making measurements and you can watch and see how it goes. Now, let's just switch over an open broadcaster to different view. Here we go. Let's switch on the light for the microscope camera so that you can see things. And I'm going to ump remember any resistance measurements we make on a motherboard. You're going to want to unplug any power going through the board because power going through the board in these cases is very, very bad. So we have the multimeter over here in resistance mode. I'm going to put my face right by the multimeter and then move my face away so that hopefully it stays focused on the multimeter. Crap, it's on my face. Hello. I have uh, face detect on my camcorder and it's really screwing up my filmography here. Let's see, what if I move it down? If I give up, I'll, I'll, I'll figure out how to turn that stuff off via remote or something later. Maybe I'll make a foot switch for it. That'll be, an, that'll be a project. So we do this. And let's see, what am I getting? Uh, look at that beautiful leaded, lead free solder. Oh, it's re it really takes nothing to scrape away that shit. So we measure oh, from here and here. Five, what is it? 56 kilo ohms, 55 kilo ohms, whatever it is. It's more. It's more than the two. It's more than the 2.3 ohms I was expecting. Now let's measure the charging current sensing circuit. So we're going to measure the resistance between here and here. And that's the 20 point. What? Okay, it's not exactly what I was expecting, but it's 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 fine. 20.03, 20.09, same, same shit for the most part here. That's, that's negligible. But here's where the real problem lies. And now this is where I have to figure out what's, which part of it is blown. So let's start with this resistor over here. So as you can see, this is our current sensing circuit. We're going from here to here. There's this resistor on one line. That resistor is exactly what it's supposed to be. Of course, of course. Do you know why that resistor is fine? because it's going to be the other one that's under this epoxy underfill looking bullshit. It's always the stuff that's under the epoxy underfill looking bullshit. Why would it be something that's simple? Grr. So let's remove that epoxy-ish underfill looking crap and then check the other resistor. Okay, I'm gonna heat it. From Let's heat this from far away. And eventually this epoxy should come right off in one piece in the fantasy world that's in my mind. Yep, definitely in the fantasy world that's in my mind, because that's not what's going to happen on this board. Right, let me try. Let's come on. You fuck. Okay, fuck you. Now we measure the resistor. Is it you? Wait a sec. If it's not you, and it's not you, then why did I get that ridiculously high measurement? not measuring that just a fucking minute ago. Oh, you fucking piece of shit. Seriously? That was 52 kilo ohms one minute ago. Oh, fuck you. Okay. Now we're going to move over to theory number two. 
That knockoff bullshit eBay battery doesn't charge because it's a knockoff bullshit eBay battery. Let's try an original battery. Hi. Try an original. Original. Okay, this battery has charge in it. Gonna open this thing up. We're going to turn it on. It turns on from this battery. Beautiful. And let's see what we get. Now I'm going to plug my charger in, which was stuck on green before. And the charger light turns orange. I don't know if you can see that from here, but it turns orange. Now here's the part where I'm going to lose my shit, because I have a really strong feeling that what I'm going to do is I'm going to reconnect the original battery that was not working and that it's going to give me an orange light. How much do you want to bet that the computer fucking fixed itself while I was doing this on camera without me actually doing anything? That would be pretty funny. People don't get it. Like, nothing goes the way you want when you're doing a video. All right. So I'm going to unplug, by, unplug the charger, plug it in. It's green, and now it's orange. Motherfucker. <laughs> what did I do? So, somebody, seriously, somebody watching, like, well, I know I get trolled by a lot of engineers on this channel. And right now at 56,000 subscribers, I know that I have at least one of you people watching is one of those engineers that likes to troll everything I do. What did I do? Why does this work? Explain to me. What the fuck did I do? Serious. Like, the resistor was... Because the thing is, you can heat a capacitor, like, um, like a tantalum capacitor or an electrolytic and see it work again, but... Resistors? I mean, what? Did it not like having epoxy over the speaker I see? Listen, I'm not going to argue with it. Do you know how much shit I do where I spend two or three or four hours on something and nothing works? Do you know how many times I beat my head against the wall when just something doesn't work that should work? Where against all logic, something decides to, to just break or be destroyed for no reason. And I look like an idiot. It happens all the time. All the time. So, yeah, I should just take this as, you know... If I'm going to get tortured all the time, I might as well get some that are easy. It's even working off of it, too. It's at 5% already. What the fuck did I do? It didn't work before. It does work now. I touched it. It's one of those things. It's like, I get blamed all the time for shit that I... I get blamed constantly for things that had nothing to do with me. I was, I was, uh, I just commenting earlier today on some comment somebody left on, on a car mechanic they had, and uh, you know I remember a few years ago, back before everybody knew that the uh, that the 2011 MacBook Pro was a steaming pile of shit, the 15-inch model with the GPU issues. I remember commenting on that. Uh, I said, you know, I remember one time that I reinstalled somebody's operating system and I put uh, LibreOffice on for them. And they said that ever since I installed LibreOffice, they've been having flickering with the screen. And, like, I didn't even charge them. I told them to leave a tip. And they genuinely called back, like, ten times really mad. Like, very close to filing uh, licensing claim, you know, claims with the licensing agency in New York City because they thought that I caused their graphics chip to die. So, like, I am blamed constantly, constantly for shit where I didn't do anything and something didn't work. So, yeah, I can't really say that I'm... I'll take it. I didn't do anything. I didn't fucking do anything. <laughs> I did. I did shit. And it worked. So.
Hey, I'm happy. I don't got to run 15 wires. The same way that I can kill a GPU by installing an Office application, I can fix a motherboard by fucking looking at it. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Yeah, this is a much shittier video than I thought it would be. Really shitty video. I mean, like, did you learn anything? Because I didn't learn anything. That's it for today. Thanks for watching.